power and energy vehicle environmental chamber, which is the centerpiece of the lab. It allows us to operate uh, full spectrum uh, capability in from terms of testing, mission profile wise. It has unique characteristics. The Pebble Chamber enables us to test full vehicle systems, both tracked and wheeled, in a thermally controlled environment. We can go through and evaluate how the vehicle performs in any environment in the world. The chamber enables us to control the temperature. It's fitted with refrigeration and heating units, which can heat and cool the test cell from negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. It controls the airspeed going through the chamber up to about 60 miles an hour. We also control the humidity so that we can simulate whether you're in the dry desert or in a more Pacific Rim area we can go from 5% to 95% relative humidity. When you find a problem in the field, it's very hard to reproduce if you're not able to reproduce the environment correctly. So if we have a guy in Afghanistan who says, hey, my Humvee won't start, you know, I can't get to where I need to be, we can say, well, okay, well, what temperature was it that day? What were you doing with the vehicle? We can bring the vehicle back here and reproduce those conditions exactly and find the problem. Once we found the problem where it exists in the conditions it exists, we can repeat the same experiment over and over again until we get it right. When we're doing scientific experiments and looking at what the vehicle can actually do, the ability to bring up a very, very extreme climate and reproduce it for different tests on different vehicles gives us the ability to really baseline what a vehicle does in its optimum environment and what it does in the extreme environments, how we can leverage both to get the best performance out of the vehicle.